Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at immigration movement maps. What are immigration movement maps? These are pretty much maps that show how migrants are going to be traveling from a source country to a host country. Now the definition of a source country is a country from where the migrants emigrate from and a host country is the country where the migrants are going to immigrate to. So, for example, if we have migration coming from Poland to the UK, the source country, which is the source of the migration, will be Poland, and then the host country, the country that's going to be hosting all of the migrants, is the UK. There's three types of movement maps that we're going to be looking at in this video, the first of which are flow lines. Now, this is a map where the width of the line is proportional to the quantity of movement happening. It follows the actual route of migration. So for here we have migration coming from Orlando all the way to New York. So we can see that the width is proportional to the movement, so there is quite a lot of migration coming on here, and it follows the actual route, so you're going to have to follow through all of these states in order to get to New York. Next up is desire lines, and this is where the width of the line is proportional to the quantity of movement, however it's not drawn along the route and instead is drawn directly from the source to the host country, or in this case state. So we still have our proportional line, but it's going straight from Orlando to New York, and it's not following any particular route. Now the final lot of immigration movement maps are that of trip lines, and this is where each line represents one person or quantified measure migrating. It's drawn directly from the source country to the host country, and of course we're not going to have proportional um, sort of dimensions in the line because it's only one person at a time. So, for example, here we have three people migrating from Orlando, from Texas, and from Washington to New York at the same time. And we don't have an actual route where it's following, we just have it straight from the source state to the host state. Here you have some questions. Have a go at answering these by pausing the video and doing them on another sheet of paper. And then hit play whenever you're ready to see the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get all of them right, congratulations, move on to the next video. However, if you did not, be sure to go through the video and check over your answers once more. And then you can move on to the next video, which is going to be on a migration case study about Poland to the UK. If you want any more information on AS Level Human Geography or any other your subjects in that case, be sure to check out www.reviseelevel.co.uk. We have a wide range of materials such as glossaries, essays, and tons more subjects as well, so be sure to check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.